All right, guys, welcome to Genesis Noir, a noir adventure spanning time and space. Let's dive right in. Sometimes reality is too complex for visual perception. This is a state that a handful of dimensions you perceive are only one-fifth of those that constitute space-time, but the true nature of reality looks like what existed before the Big Bang rocketed the universe into existence. These are unanswerable questions. But imagination embodies the dark unknown in myth. Out of this unknowable haze, a world emerges wrapped in familiar forms. Your mind transforms the wisps of preternatural smoke into bodies and steel and concrete. Your experience reshapes the world and makes this form eternal. You give it a name. You call it the constant. And so it starts. Man, this game has some awesome music, so I'm gonna try to stay away whenever music plays. Comment less so you can guys enjoy this. And here we are, I guess. That should be me, hiding from the police. And also very hungry, it looks like. I guess I wanna go to the hopper, but I am broke. <laughs> yeah, that's life for me. So now I'm calling over somebody. Oh, press and hold A to pick up a watch. Okay, so it looks like we're selling knockoff watches for a living. I guess we gotta make money somehow, right? Thank you, sir. Or madam. So how many watches do I need to sell? Alright, now for a lady. What kind of watch should we give a lady? Something elegant and simple. Here you go. Ah, she? What did she just give me? Her underwear? <laughs> well... I guess that's a currency in this world. So we're chasing after her, I think. And we stumble upon a shoe. Oh, somebody's getting booted from the apartment. Oh, and an interesting figure appears on the window. Yeah, my guy is thinking about it. Come on, go upstairs, man. Oh, but it looks like we are out of time. All right. <laughs> this will have to wait, I guess. Oh, okay. Are we manipulating time in this game? No, probably not. But we live inside the clock house? All right. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, let's see. Oh, whoops. Knocked off a phone. Oh, man, am I clumsy today. <laughs> a napkin given after a night of attraction. Ooh, and a phone number. Could that be the lady that we saw in the window previously? 980-6650, that's gonna be important. Maybe we could call it right away. Hold on, let me see that again. 980-6650. Nine? Oh, there you go. 80. Now the music is getting mysterious as well. 66. 50. Now ah, let's see what happens. Oh, 
Oh, somebody's on the other line, but I cannot make a thing of what they're saying. And we are falling. And running downstairs. Right? Whatever we heard on that phone call, I guess, uh, <laughs> made us anxious. So finally we arrive at the door. All right, let me in. FBI. No, nobody answers to that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, we s yes, we can smash it, nice. Oh no, oh no. And so it all starts with a single shot fired. Genesis Noir. And I guess this is the bad guy of the story, holding the gun. and we are floating for some reason. Right, so I'm guessing the whole uh, premise of the game is to somehow stop this shootout from happening in the first place. What are we doing here? A flask for numbing. Good for losing track of time. I bet it is. Alright, popping the bubbles, I guess. A singer in peril. A shell casing from the Big Bang. So I'm guessing the Big Bang is actually the shot itself. Nothing I can do with this though. Oh, hello. There's a sort of a universe in the back of this. Oh, I did something important. The Big Bang began as a sphere of unfathomable heat and density. Uniform and perfect, this humble volume contained all the energy which would become our universe. But in time, imperfection began to appear. After 10 in the <laughs> minus 37 uh, power, so in a very short amount of time, let's call it then, <laughs> minuscule fluctuations in the density of this energy formed. The surface of creation, no longer perfectly sterile, was now rough, like fertile soil. These imperfections in energy became the seeds from which stars and galaxies and the very structure of the universe would grow. Alright, let's go grow ourselves a universe, I guess. It looks like we have the power. I'm guessing is the first chapter of this game. 
I love the style already. How everything ties to music and jazz. I don't know about you guys, I think everything looks better in noir. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just old. Yeah, that's probably it. So I'm guessing now we have to reach the sky. Oh, okay, that was easy. What are those, though? Can I grab them? Or can I use them as well? Interesting. A white seed that feeds on light rays. It's probably is this thing here. Let's see what happens. And indeed, it makes... Well, it makes light rays disappear, which is going to be useful, for example... Trying to avoid obstacles like this one. And we get more seeds. This time they seem to be black, though. So I'm guessing these feed on black light, right? Black seed that consumes dark energy. Yes. So I'm guessing. And I'm right in guessing so. We can uh, dissolve black obstacles. How about this? Would a black seed do the trick? Alright. Okay, what now? Oh, okay, she loves me, she loves me not. Loves me not, loves me not, loves me not. Loves me not, loves me not. Yes, no, yes, no. She loves me, she loves me not. Oh man. And I guess how that's how the sun was created? When some new paths are forming, right? Let's go right across. And another one of these uh, places where we can put a seed in. Can I only put black seeds? Oh, now we have a white seed as well. Okay, so I guess these seeds appear at random on our hand. And a little plant grows. Kinda looks dead. Oh, we can make it rain. Okay. Make it rain. And so we created plant life, I guess. Alright, interesting. So it looks like we're gonna be creating like all parts of the universe. Plant life, I'm guessing animals come at some point. Things like that. Alright, looks like another plant. And uh, like a radio frequency tuner here. All right, we have to find the right frequency, I guess. Well, it's very specific as a frequency, though. <laughs> okay, slowly it's growing. Nice. 
Nice. And now we get more connections. Alright, so you get the drift. We are going to be creating the universe step by step, I guess. See how this does. Okay. Oh, now we're making days go pa uh, pass by. Okay. Yes, let's make them go fast. Let's throw some seeds in here as well. I don't know, is there a significance in whether I throw a black or a light seed? I have no idea. I'm just gonna alternate between them just for fun. I don't think it really matters. All right, so what are we doing here? Growing the tree of life, I guess. Now we can cut branches. Oh, interesting. And I guess we created birds, or a category to which birds belong to. All right, another seed goes in. It kind of looks like we're always growing one plant. So maybe this is kind of a plant section or something. All right, now obviously we need to grow this plant probably until it reaches down there that uh, energy well or whatever that is. So I'm guessing removing obstacles should do the trick. Yes, and now it keeps growing. So we're gonna keep removing. I'm guessing I'm gonna keep. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with these branches that flame out. Let's just bother with the ones that actually look to be alive. Oh man, they all die out. Come on. <laughs> well, I'm guessing only one of them is gonna survive. Looks to be that middle one for now. Ah, come on, we're almost there. Yes. This one made it. Now we get animal life. Nice. Flora and fauna created. Excellent. Well, I guess our job is kind of done. <laughs> what else do we need to create? Oh, and we get gold seeds now. Hold on. So can I destroy gold things with these, with these seeds? Nice, okay. Now uh, we're probably gonna use them, use them to uh, destroy that main gate, that golden gate that blocks our path. But for now, let's keep uh, throwing seeds in, see what happens. All right, now we're just sleeping while a tree grows. Alright, and that connects us back to the start, I think. Nice. Alright, now we have golden seeds, so we can destroy this gate, I guess. Excellent, moving on. Alright, more seeds. White ones by the look of it. I don't know why we keep getting seeds. I seem to have unlimited seeds in my pocket anyway.
All right, this seems to be significant. That guy is supposed to be the bad guy, right? All right, let's see. Now we can throw these things down, okay. Oh, one fell on top of him. <laughs> and now he's angry. Okay, he's dangling a watch. Oh, destroyed it. I'm guessing that's bad. Oh, and a black hole sucks up everything. Definitely not good. Alright, so what am I supposed to do now with that black hole? I am skeptical by the looks of it. As a watch spring with untapped potential, a familiar shape that requires further examining. Okay. So I guess we're just gonna leave that black hole be there for now. And maybe find more about it in the next episode. Right, thanks for watching guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. See you in the next one.